Welcome today we're going to talk about note bloat. And if you like this video, you can subscribe, hit the bell, you thumbs up, stuff like that. But most importantly, you can become a member, curtisfromkale.ca slash membership. Let's talk about note bloat. So Nicholas Wirth was a famous computer scientist. And among other things, he invented the Pascal programming language after his proposal to improve Algol was turned down. He also wrote an article pleading for lean software and then went on to write Project Oberon which is a self-contained coding environment compiler and operating system in 4,000 lines of code. Now, that may seem like a lot if you're not a programmer, but that compares to 1 billion lines of code for Debian 12, a Linux operating system, or 40 million lines of code for Google Chrome, which are both mind-boggling numbers, like 1 billion and 40 million. How, 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 how do you even understand that? And that's the thing. These numbers are so big that it's impossible for a single software developer to understand the entire project in their lifetime. It's impossible for a small team to understand the entire project in its lifetime. Um, it's just not going to happen. It's not possible to do a total security audit on either of these projects, uh, even Linux, right? Linux is about 40 million lines of code as well, just like Google Chrome. It's impossible to understand the entire scope of what's going on. This can happen to your notes too. It's easy to let your notes and the sources you want to bring into your note system to get so out of hand that there's no way you can understand everything that's going on inside them. Just like Ian Malcolm says in Jurassic Park, or similar to it anyways, it's easy to realize you can add something to your notes without asking whether you really should add anything to your notes. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. One of the most important things about capturing is filtering. The art of capturing is the first step in your filtering process. I use an inbox, currently a link board in, to capture all of my content. But then when I come back to it, you know, every couple days, I actually delete far more than I keep because that thing that was interesting in the moment is no longer interesting. It doesn't match up to a current project. It, some of it gets tagged and pushed off to later, but it, the vast majority of it simply gets deleted from my notes for my capture system at all it says, no, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to take the time to read it. That's actually really good. If you're not going to take the time to read it now, if it's, and if it's not for a specific project that's coming, so you're saving resources, then just delete it because you're probably never going to take the time to read it now. If not now, when? If you don't know exactly when you're going to read it, then just delete it. Now, most people I talk to rarely delete the sources. They are worried that they're going to miss some little tidbit nugget that's going to like blow them away and make them into, I don't even know what they think, but they're just worried that they're going to miss out on that thing. So they end up with overflowing inboxes of shit, literal shit notes, things that don't matter, things they're never going to get to, things they're not going to do. If there's one thing I could get every note taker to do, it's to filter those sources, delete more things right at the beginning. Say, I'm never going to read this. This is never going to be impactful. This is not something I'm going to put my time into. That's probably the best thing you can do for your notes, in fact, to start. Stop taking so many things in at the beginning because you're not going to, you know, you have a, whatever, a 400 note or 400 uh, item Instapaper queue. You have a massive RSS feed list or something else. Like, you're just not going to get to it. So say goodbye to it and don't feel guilty. Specifically when it comes to the web even, deleting more of those things that come in from the web and then going deeper into something like a book is better. But even when I look at a book, I actually don't worry about about 50% of the notes that I take in a book. I let them go to the wayside. I come back to them later. Maybe I grab the one or two big key topics out of that book and come back to my whole notes are really what was the book about, not something I'm going to turn into um, another idea later. That's it. Delete more stuff in your notes. If you like the video, thumbs up below, uh, hit the bell, YouTube, subscribe stuff. But the best thing is to become a member of curtismichael.ca slash membership. Take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Grab my weekly newsletter, curtismichael.ca slash the number three dash threads. Have an awesome day.